Look, he is coming with the clouds. For the longest time, I have understood this to mean that he is coming with so many people and angels that it just looks like clouds because they're all dressed in white. Uh, that could be. But more recently, I have been understanding this in a deeper way because we have several scriptures throughout the Tanakh that allude to this whole idea of the Lord coming with clouds. It is a sign of judgment. Judgment and the word of God coming, the law of God, and the judgment of God coming. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let's start with Deuteronomy 33. And he said about Asher, may Asher be the most blessed of the sons. May he be the most favored among his brothers and dip his foot in olive oil. May the bolts of your gate be iron and bronze and your strength last as long as you live. There is none like the God of Yeshurun who rides the heavens to your aid, the clouds in his majesty. So so here is a picture of God coming in the clouds. Another one is Exodus chapter 19. This is verse 9. The Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud so that the people will hear when I speak with you and will always believe you. This is just an amazing portion right here. This is a time when God came in the clouds. This cloud symbolized the power, the presence of God. It was a sign for the people to say, this is really God. And it's the power powerful, majestic presence of God that will cause these people to see and fear, so to speak, and always believe you. Now, here is a little bit more of an explicit time when God came in the clouds in judgment. So this is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 1, prophecy against Egypt. See, the Lord rides on a swift cloud and is coming to Egypt. The idols of Egypt tremble before him and the hearts of the Egyptians melt with fear. The picture of the Lord coming on a cloud is is a picture of great power, great glory, and judgment. So I think the underlying concept here is that the book of Revelation, of course, it's a book of judgment. There's a lot of judgment in there. And so this is the picture that we get in the Tanakh. The Lord comes on a cloud. The Lord comes with the cloud, so to speak. I do understand now that that particular picture, if you will, vision of, of the Lord coming on the clouds may be literal, but it may not be literal. It may be a figure of speech referring to judgment day, referring to the Lord is coming to judge, like he came on a cloud to judge Egypt in, in Isaiah chapter 19. 